I'm going to add a new track and then I'm going to select the input because I'm using headphones. And then next to the input, we want to prime this for recording. So next to that, we're going to hit the record button. We're then going to select an area of the song. Then we're going to hit the loop button at the bottom where all these controls are. Let's isolate this clip so we make sure that it's only on its own. And then we're going to hit record. So this would be the part where you continue to sing or you would be doing spoken word, whatever your use case is in this instance. And then as it gets to the end of that clip, what will happen is it'll loop again. But what's happening here is you can continue to do new takes. This is really powerful because if you've made a mistake while singing or you want to record multiple takes to hear what they sound like later, this functionality is now available to you. Once you stop recording, click the three dots and then go to show take lanes. What's going to happen here is all of the versions that you were continuously recording on a loop are going to pop up. Now all you have to do is review these, make the adjustments or re-record if need be.